Welcome to this culturally rich land, since is recognized in the Department of Sucre as the cultural capital of the department. Sometimes we are confused with Sinsalijo, which is not the case, Sinsalijo is the political capital of the department. We are the cultural capital and thanks to the TV channel Agro for visiting us, and for helping us to spread the word that there is a town called Sins and that it has a great cultural wealth, a great cultural wealth distributed in many aspects. In the architectural part we have a variety of beautiful houses built of wood and zinc of more than 150 years of wood, of palm that makes us unique in the department for that rich architecture, we have a rich gastronomy. We also want the world to know that thanks to that gastronomy today since gave life to a person that although she was not born in since has many roots in since as is Leonor Espinosa that famous chef internationally recognized as one of the most important chefs in the world. All her roots are here in this town. In this town was also born the greatest symphonic musician that has given Latin America as was Adolfo Mejia Navarro, of which we are proud. Juan Madera Castro was born in this town, the author of that world-famous cumbia, the Polara Colora. So we have many things to show the world, here in this town was born part of the magical realism. From this town he went one day to live in Aracataca to work as a telegrapher, Garcia Marquez's father is from Sins, Gabriel Eligio Garcia Martinez is from Sinsano. And Gaba's grandfather is also from Sins. So as Manuel Zapata Olivella said, the magical realism was born here, it is important that the world knows that Sins also made Macondo possible, invite everyone to come to know Sins, its gastronomy, its architecture, all this greatness that characterizes us in the department of Sucre, the truth is that we are very grateful to you, to help us, through the TV Agro channel, so that the world knows this town that is unknown to some but we are working to make Sins known nationally and internationally. We want to tell the world that here in the House of Culture, we proudly exhibit the original score of this musical piece that identifies us, the Polara Colora, composed by Juan Bautista Madera Castro, a native of this municipality, it is something that, he composed the musical part and the world knows that the lyrics are by Wilson Chaparina. It is a very long story but we as Cincianos highlight the person who composed the musical part which is Juan Bautista Madera Castro, proudly from herein. Since, and here in the House of Culture, we expose to the public that original score, with which he could demonstrate that the Polara Colora is of his authorship. If you have many stories, there is a saying that says that our municipalities, the history, the tourism of our municipalities, comes from the stories, we have to create stories, to be able to generate tourism and to be able to generate culture, since does not need to create stories, because they have their own stories, their own stories, I think that since has all the stories and all the stories and all the theories available, so that many people and many visitors come to our municipality, to know this cultural epicenter, native, propitious of our municipality, and that represents for us Cincianos, that cultural identity that identifies us both municipally and departmentally as well as nationally. In 100 years of solitude, there is a case that is, that Aureliano Segundo, was digging in the house of Macondo, looking for gold, and that event happened, in the house of an aunt, of Gabriel Garcia Marquez, here in Sins, they found a Macura, full of gold coins, and when Gabriel Eligio, 
the father found out, he came, they already lived in Cartagena. And bought instruments to try to detect where there were mercuris, and brought Bartones, Bartones and escaped just like Aureliano Segundo did. Bartones and escaped just like Aureliano Segundo did. The other issue is that in 100 years of solitude, also Aureliano Segundo dresses as a tiger, and the dance or tiger costume is typical of since, which has been done since the late 1800s. Then I say Gabriel Garcia Marquez could not take that from another town. But from since, we also argue that it cannot be coincidence. That herein since there was a man, who was called Melquiades Diaz Ortega, who traveled, was an illiterate boy at the age of 15. He left, went on a ship and traveled around the world for 20 years, He did not know where he was, he was a bracero, but when he came, he came loaded with stories, and he came saying that in the world where he was, there was a device where people could communicate with other people, no matter the distance, by that time. About 10 or 15 years ago, the telephone had been known, so these coincidences are what we have been saying. <laughs> Well in since, art has always been more directed to the passion for horses, for the Fiesta Brava. So here we can see a clear example of accessories, woven in leather, all handmade, sculptures of horses and bullfighting and personalized pictures of horses, all related to the passion, as I said before for horses and the Fiesta Brava. Well for the accessories, in the case of a Pero since, they handle leather and thread, with which they weave these accessories. As for the sculptures, they handle handmade sculptures, in porcelanicrin, or sculptures made of resin, and paintings, in colored pencil or oil, this highlights or provides an option to satisfy the passion that one feels here for the animals, such as for the equines, and to preserve the bovines and preserve the passion that one feels here for the animals, such as the equines, for the bovines, and to preserve it because so much modernism is putting an end to these practices and to what our grandparents used to do before, and it is very satisfying to be able to offer our children this type of knowledge, how things were done before, how a horse was trained, how the different tasks were done in the field, highlighting it in a sculpture or in a painting. The Roquita Moranita are Almajabanas, those are them with corn, panela, cheese, are the main things. The round ones are cookies. These are made with wheat flour, milk, sugar, cheese. The Parpachuela and Malit are the same as the cookies. But to the Malit you add more cheese and lime zest. The Parpachuela. You thin the cookie and fill it with cheese, anise, sugar, and fold it and it has a different shape. You can also fill it with coconut. And the white ones are panderos. Those are made with starch, which is brought from the yucca, from the sweet yucca, the bolitas de leche, which is a tradition here in since. Herein since there are many people who make bolitas de leche. The milk ball has been something that has been made for a long time. By the lady, previously many families lived on the milk ball. It was, they sold them in the stores and in the streets and the people who came, and lived on this product then it has been a traditional product of here, it has been like the most representative in the gastronomic part of the milk ball.
I have approximately three years dancing. I was taught by my teacher Jose Manuel Quiros Meza, who unfortunately died this year, herein since many rhythms are handled what is the poro, fandango, puya, band music, also cumbia, in this case my costume is cumbia, which handles the theme of falling in love, that is to say that the couple tries to fall in love with each other. Where the man proposes to the woman and the woman plays hard to get, waiting for the man to make more effort, so that the falling in love works. At the moment of dancing, the man makes the invitation with a candle, when the woman accepts it, she is willing to receive the courtship that the man gives her, as long as it is with respect, since the man always tries to surprise her with a kiss, but the woman defends herself even with her skirt or with the candle. 